Hey guys, it's Barney Bonanza Extra here, and we're going over lists and list functions in Python 3.3. .3. So we're going to do a lot code in the shell today, just to show you, it makes it a bit easier. I'm going to open up idle, full screen it. Basically, the symbols for a list uh, are just two uh, square type brackets, and you can set a variable or a list name. So just name will actually work. Name equals list. And inside this list can go either strings, which require quotations, and a comma to separate them, or numbers, which require just the number, a kind of comma to separate them. This is called names, so we'll just do a couple of these, like that, and we'll just put um, Bob, Bill, and Jane. So now we have a list set to name. As you see here, it shows you here what the values of the list are. So a couple of things, a couple of functions that we can perform with these arrays or vectors or lists, whatever you want to call them. A single one will be the list name, which yeah, dot like or a period, and then you just place append here. It's even coming up. Oh, oops, don't know what did that. Name dot append. And then you put two parentheses, and in here is whatever you want to add to the end of the list, I believe. So let's say you wanted to add the name John to the end of the list. Click enter and type a name. You can see that John is now added to the end section of the list. Another thing you can do, which would be na oh, name dot extend. Now this just appends all the like items in the given list, so you can feel like um, Mike. It's <laughs> good enough. Name, and you see it adds each uh, element separately. So M, I, K, and E adds them all separately into the list. So I'm not going to bother. Uh, that list we can you can always do some other stuff as well. You can also do uh, name oh, name dot insert. Now this is a another function, but it's actually pretty nice because what you can do is you can place where you want to set where you want to put the um, item into, and then the item here. Now a thing to note with lists is that it doesn't start at one. It always starts at zero. So Bob is zero. Bill is one, Jane is two, John is four, no, three, etc. So if you wanted to insert it where number one is, you have to put zero in this section here. So say we wanted to insert it where Bill is, we just put one, and we just put Callan. Why not? Press enter, and now you can see that the second one or first element in the list is has been replaced with whatever string we put in here. That's a that's a really useful um feature there of lists. Now we're gonna get on to some other stuff which is now to do with removing and stuff. So we just put name in here and then dot remove and in parentheses. Now in here goes whatever you want to remove from the list. So you can put two quotations and this has to be anything in the list and it will also remove the first one in the list so if there was two calendars and one was first and one was second it would always remove the first one not the second one but anyway so if you just put in here uh, Bob for example if, the, if that name or variable isn't in there it will just throw back an error and it won't perform any actions but that should remove Bob from the list which has worked perfectly Another thing here, it could be name dot pop. Now pop is a command that deletes a certain item and then returns the value of that item. So you could say pop um so remember zero, one, two, three. So we could say three to get rid of John. And it will return John, type in name, and you see John is gone is a uh, been taken away from the list. That's just, yeah, they are really useful functions you need to pretty much remember all the time if you're going to be programming with lists and stuff in Python. 
Now, s some other things, which would actually be easier to show you with a list of numbers. So, we'll make a list called num. I should make that lower place. Num. And that will be equal to, uh, let's say, 3, 5, 2, 1, 4. Alright, so we've got a list called we got a list called num, which is just equal to a lot of numbers. Now what we can do is we can do the num dot count command. And basically all, all we put in here is whatever we want to test. So say we had two threes, which I can't really show you here, but say we had two threes and we put in here three, it would tell you how many times that occurred in the list. So we had two threes, it will bring up the number two here. And if we have none of that type, it will come up with an error, I believe. But say we just put in here three for an example. See, see, it shows up once, so it just declares number one here. Now there are also some another. There's also another pretty cool function, which is num and sort. Nothing needs to go into parameters. If we just press enter on this, we go up num again. You see, it's ordered the numbers from uh, smallest to largest. You can also do this with strings and orders them in the letters of the alphabet, I think. Uh, the last thing I believe will be num.reverse. Make sure I spell it right. Basically, all this does, you probably guessed it by now, it just reverses all the numbers so it's actually largest to smallest instead of smallest to largest. <coughs> uh, so that's pretty much it on the lists and stuff today, guys. So, I mean, might be a There'll probably be some more in the future on lists and all that type of stuff. But that's about it for today. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll uh, be seeing you next time. So, bye.